Hi, today I've got a Fender Concert Amp in for repair. It's from the early 60s and it's most famous for its harmonic vibrato circuit. Now that circuit isn't working in this amp so we really need to get that fixed. Okay, so I've taken the amp into the lab. It looks like it's in really good nick actually. A couple of holes in the grill cloth but the Tollex looks almost too good for an amp from 1962. Could it have been recovered? The knobs would originally have been brown so those have been replaced. And we can see that the handle has been replaced and that the Tollex is older than the handle at least. It's an odd choice for a replacement handle. I think I would have gone for a nice leather one. Right, this is the back of the amp. The speakers are modern Italian made Jensen C10Rs. All four 10 inch speakers are wide and parallel, presenting a two ohm load to the amp. The cabinet is made of solid pine, so it isn't ridiculously heavy. This concert amp has the 6G12A circuit. I almost missed the A the first time I read the label, but the number of small signal valves gives it away. The 6G12 circuit only has five, whereas this one has six, as you can see here. Let's take a look at the circuit board. As you'd expect of an amp of this age, it's a mixture of modern and vintage components. So I'm definitely not the first person to work on this amp. All the electrolytic caps have been replaced and a lot of the coupling caps too. The big blue one in this picture is original. There are a few new resistors but a lot of the original carbon comp ones are still in service. The amp has a solid copper ground plane running underneath the pots which is something you don't see very often. Right let's flip it over. Here's the mains transformer. The correct part number should be 125P7D. So this looks like a replacement. The choke does look original and also has the correct part number. The output transformer is branded Fender and also has the correct part number, so it could well be original. Now let's check out the filter caps. They've obviously been replaced and that's a good thing. These are branded Tube Amp Doctor. Okay, let's look at the schematic and see how we can go about fixing this vibrato circuit. Since we're not getting any vibrato at all, I suspect the oscillator is not functioning. The oscillator circuitry is around this triode here. Let's zoom into that. Now this is your classic phase shift oscillator. At a certain low frequency you should get positive feedback around this loop with gain greater than 1, which results in oscillation at that frequency. That's the LFO modulator for the vibrato effect. The precise frequency of oscillation is adjustable and set by the speed pot here. Let's start by measuring the voltages around these two triodes. According to the schematic we should measure an HT voltage of 350 volts, an anode voltage of 170 volts. The actual HT voltage is 385 volts and the anode voltage 60 volts. So this implies that the 470k resistor is faulty. It must have a much higher value than spec. Let's turn the amp off and measure the resistance across this resistor. Almost 3 meg when it should be no higher than 470k. Looks like we found the culprit. Let me replace that resistor then. The old resistor. Let's see what it really measures. 3.2 meg. Definitely more than the 20% tolerance of a 470k resistor. Here's the new resistor. Now let's measure the voltages again and see if we get better readings this time. We're now seeing 362 volts HT, which is better. And we're seeing an unstable voltage between 100 and 200 volts at the anode. Normally an unstable voltage would be a bad sign, but in this case we actually want there to be oscillations, and so the varying voltage tells us that things are working as they should. Let's take a closer look at the operation of the harmonic vibrato. The guitar signal enters a vibrato circuit via this path. It then gets split into a high frequency component, which gets fed to one triode gain stage, and a low frequency component which gets fed to another. The signals are then mixed together and sent to the output stage. The output of the oscillator is buffered by a cathode follower stage, passed through the intensity pot, 
and then enters a phase splitter stage. This stage produces two LFO modulators, 180 degrees out of phase with each other. One modulator acts on the high frequencies of the guitar signal, the other acts on the lows. That is the basic operation of the harmonic vibrato circuit. What we're going to do now is measure these two out of phase LFO signals on an oscilloscope. Now I'm increasing the intensity. Increasing the speed. Notice how the gain reduces as the speed increases. That makes sense since there's so much high frequency filtering going on in the LFO circuit. And turning down the intensity. All seems to be working correctly. Okay, let's test it out. I've got the intensity up all the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Check me out on Instagram at Rajaniamps and check me out online at rajaniamps.com. Hope to see you next time.